when we manufacture shrink foam, the most important thing is getting the right blow-up ratio. And the blow-up ratio is the ratio of the die size we have to the bubble we're blowing. And that's how we can manipulate machine direction and transverse direction shrink. So what I'm going to do is put a big line down the center of that. And now we know that's machine direction because this is going to get really distorted when we actually make the sample. This is a 5x5 five five template and so that's going to make the math real easy when we have the final test sample. So that's that. Now we've got this. We can go and test the actual shrink. Let's do it. Take the sample of film, place it on the spatula, open it up. That's the top of the lizard. It's not water. Water would really boil and it would be hard to do this. So we'll lay that down. Look, there it goes. It's shrunk. Take it out. It's really hot. Put some water on it. Take some measurements. Alrighty, let's see what we've got with these two samples. Normally we'd run a larger sample mix, but we're just going to have to do it with these two. So that one's right at once, so that means we have 80% shrink in the machine direction. We'll measure it in the transverse direction, and that's a four and a half. So that means we have a 10% shrink in the transverse. And then we can vary the shrink to whatever the application is so that we get a good looking package. And that's how we measure shrink.